Hello guys, this is Engineer Vakas Aman and today I am going to tell you about the impact of calendar customization while scheduling on Primavera P6. So first of all, we will approach uh, to access uh, calendar in Primavera P6. Here we have Enterprise tab. I will just click on that and in drop down window you can find there is calendar. I can click on this option and a new window will be opened. So to understand calendar that uh, we are given three different kind of calendars. There is one global calendar, which will be assigned to our project activities. Then there is a resource calendar, which will be assigned to our uh, resources, uh, resource dependent activities. And then there is project calendar. There's another application if we are using another uh, application of Primavera P6, uh, shared application. But here, uh, in global, uh, the working inside how to customize Primer uh, P6 calendar is same. So I have a lot of, uh, you know, different variety of calendars. So what I need to do from here, add, I can add a new calendar. Just make like this and I will make uh, my name calendar like to just memorize that this was defined just in recent times. So just make checkbox, but it is gone downward somewhere. I can, I can like this okay so this calendar i have to now make some changes okay so what changes i need to make i have to make uh, you know there is no off day there is uh, you know 10 hours per c there is off i need to work 10 hours saturday throughout week 10 hours and here 10 hours this is my work week pattern okay I am going to create two different calendars and want to analyze that how it is going to impact on our project scheduling. Okay, so this is our 10 hours throughout our week. There is no off day. And then time periods, there is 10 hours per day working. There is uh, 70 hours per week, seven multiplied 10. Then there is 280. There are four weeks in one month. And then there are 12 months. So multiply 280, there is 3360. So there's one kind of calendar. So now that's fine. Again, I'm going to develop another calendar. Vakas slash like this. Okay. And now I will check box this one. See this one. And I will modify. Now this calendar, I want something different. Eight hours. Okay. Now I want make off only set Sunday. And uh, okay, that's fine. Eight hours. Okay. So in this time period, I have eight here. Eight multiply six is going to give 48. Then per month multiply four is going to give you 192. And then this multiply by 12 is going to give you this one. Okay. So now I have just in recent times in front of you people, I have defined two different calendars. Now, okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add one column over here. There is in general tab, there is calendar, push like this, activity name, okay. And now it's already defined another, okay. So now you have to remember there is 36 days project. So it's going to impact on your project, how it's going to impact, okay. So just observe it. So here, let's see, I'm going to define here this calendar, okay. Then this again, this calendar. Then I'm going to change this calendar. This work package activities are going to following this calendar, Vakas by name. And then here I'm going to define other calendar like Vakas dash. And uh, now I will use fill down option just to quick my work. See, and go into the refresh data. See, my days are changed because I have given a different input. Before this was going to be done in 36 days. It's a very simple example I'm giving you that how calendar customization from work package to work package is going to define your project timeline. So be very careful when you're going to work on calendar. It's very, very important. Sometimes we need different kind of calendar on different work packages. It depends on our working hours and uh, it is going to impact on your timeline. So that's uh, very, very important to keep in your mind. So for beginners, it's a really good 
thing to exercise when you're going to schedule and uh, for the senior level people it's also important to understand how variety of calendars can impact on your project timeline and if you like this video write in comments and um, write if more things you want to learn and uh, share with your fellows thank you very much